Hi, Angela. Listen, I saw the most beautiful picture of you and some of your grandkids and May on Facebook a couple of days ago. And I put a message out to May and I told her how wonderful it was to see a picture of, your, of her sweet mama, which is you, you know. And when I did that, she was kind enough and sweet enough to let me know that you were um, in your last stages of cancer. And I just had to, had to let you know uh, how much you mean to me. Uh, what I would say, Angela, is God put us together in the strangest way with us meeting at our Lamaze class and, and then me losing touch with you because you had been early and uh, and then we met at Belk's and remembered that we looked familiar to one another. And there it began uh, in Gainesville, Georgia. I'm so glad it did. We may not see each other or talk for a couple of years, but it's always like no time has passed. And uh, that's the kind of love we have for each other. And I'm so blessed by that, Angela. There's probably maybe three people um, that I feel this strongly about in my heart. And you're right there, okay? What I want to say is that your faith, your kindness, your gentle heart for others has always been something that has brought me great joy and something I aspire to because of you. I've always been a little rough around the edges, but you've always had this gentle spirit, and uh, it's something that draws people to you, Angela. I'm really sorry that you're going through this time. But I also rejoice because I know you're going to be with, well, you're going to be in heaven. And you'll be able to see Jesus face to face. And what a joy that will be. And I also know that my time here on earth is just temporary. This is not meant to be my permanent home. And so I'll be joining you one day. And uh, I look forward to that. But for now, what I want you to know, Angela, is that you're on my heart and in my prayers every day. Uh, I pray for your comfort. I pray for your peace of mind. And I know that you have wonderful family support around you that love you and care for you. Um, I hate being so far away, but it is what it is. So if there's anything else that I can pray for besides comfort and peace, you just let me know and I will put it on my prayer list because I've gotten to be a tiny bit of a prayer warrior lately. I don't know how that happened. But it has. I love you, my sweet friend, with all my heart. So glad that God brought you into my life.